Hello and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for the 10th of July. So let's see what is coming through. We are in beautiful cancer season. We have the Queen of Swords next to the Judgment card. Okay, pretty serious messages and conversations happening there with the Queen of Swords. I want to say clear up or clear out. <laughs> There's sort of like this sense of feeling really need this need to kind of get rid of some mental clutter um, to clear out some things that you've been thinking about. There's new ideas that are wanting to come in. There's new messages. So let's just clean out all the old uh, stuff, debris that's been inside your mind. A lot of element of air here because we have the seven of pentacles. There's new investments of time, effort and energy. And there's new things that want to start flowing here. And we have the King of Wands. Much nicer energy than we had yesterday, which was a little bit spiky, I have to say. So this is, yeah, there's some kind of message coming in. The Judgment card is the herald heralding of the angel. So there's some sort of divine message coming in that this little Page of Swords is getting. Aha, uh -huh, I know now where to direct my energy, where I'm going to invest my time, effort and energy where I can turn some things that have been challenges in my life into something that feels like it has growth and abundance. And so it really feels like the answer, you're getting the answer to that, what it is that you're needing to clean and clear out in your life in order to bring in that space for growth, for this new growth to come through. I feel like this is like a major realignment, almost like a reassessment or a readjustment of where you're going at this moment in time. But it feels good. It feels like it could actually be where if you just make this sort of, I just feel like it's just a little realignment and then things can start flowing a little bit more. It feels a lot cleaner and clearer and perhaps your intuition starting to flow where it might have felt a little bit like, ah, I wasn't sure about the direction or the path moving forward. But now this King of Wands is definitely getting a sense of I've got really clear inside my mind. Now I know how to, where to take action and very much feeling like, I'm trusting my soul and spirit. I'm trusting the message I'm getting from spirit. King of Wands has mastered that. And we're seeing the message coming in so loud and clear from that judgment card. There's a message, but the message is that these car these energies need to pass over. Things need to be debris. Energies are being called up and out to leave your life in some way. It, d it does feel like there's some kind of irrevocable ending I'm leaving that behind I'm clearing out that old energy those old structures and very clearly getting the message around that so there's something in the material realm that you're working with around this as well because we have that seven of pentacles and both the seven of pentacles and the temperance cards they don't rush into anything <laughs> they're very thoughtful they're very patient they're very calm so it's like I kind of know now or I'm feeling a lot calmer about the message that I'm getting and how I'm moving forward and the action I'm taking here. Whereas yesterday it felt like it was pointy struggles, conflict, or perhaps there was some sort of conflict that needed to be addressed in some way or it was just there. But uh, today feels like there's calmer waters, absolutely. So things can kind of balance out, but it does require a slow and patient and balanced, balanced approach to come through. So, yeah, it really feels a little bit more like I feel like I'm on, on the right path. I'm on the right path. And what I wanted to say, keeps they were saying, you didn't say what you were going to say about that seven of pentacles. And I didn't. What I wanted to say was that this is something that you're moving forward when it comes to the material realm. So where it comes to, mm, interesting. Uh, I'm seeing the beautiful red earth of the seven of pentacles. I've actually got red earth where I live because we live in an old volcanic volcanic crater and it's really fertile soil. And so it's saying now's the time. There's really beautiful fertile energy to plant a seed for growth, but it is something within the material realm. So because we have Mars in Taurus and moving towards a conjunction with Uranus, but this Mars and Taurus is the energy that wants to plant this seed, 
wants to make plant it in some really beautiful fertile soil. So now's the time to invest in making some readjustments or changes to things like your work, your daily routine, you know, what you might be offering, how your money's working, how, what's happening with your health, something around the home or house. There's something in the material realm here that is really fabulous time to be planting and investing this uh, because of this beautiful red soil this time effort energy this seed so you're getting the message the time is ripe now it's a really really good time for be doing this and it's very much like a soul almost like a soul directive that's coming through with that judgment card and this king of wands is just sitting there going yep i've got all the messages and i feel pretty much in control i feel like the leader in my life i feel really aligned and through that process I just feel the King of Wands could be really creative, it could be charismatic, it could be stepping into being an authority, like the voice of authority. This is Mercury and Leo coming through. So we've got a lot of element of air coming in and it really is about understanding the power of your voice, the power of the and the authority of your voice and the genuine authentic truth of your voice understanding the impact that makes and then it really is also about listening and hearing so the th I'm getting a lot of throat chakra now very very much like activations around the throat chakra and the element of air but it's not just element of air here you know we've got fire and earth all and water within the temperance card all flowing so it's like all elements have this opportunity to start working together which is really nice but I just get it's this sense of there is how can I describe this it's not power as in power over but it's this sense of calmness of just knowing that you're thinking the right thing or you're knowing the right thing to say or you're speaking from this place of aligned truth and hearing the truth being open to understand what that message is coming to you around alignment and it feels very patient it's got this patient calm energy around it because it's just a knowing that's the feeling that comes through with it. So there's a message that comes to you that's just a knowing that brings you into alignment. And it's really lovely. And you can do, like I said, they keep bringing me back to plant, they keep going plant the seed in that red soil, plant it in that beautiful red volcanic soil. Whether this is like quite literally, you might be wanting to plant things, but uh, it's just like whatever that is, it's time to invest in whatever this so this seed in the seven of pentacles represents to you so it could even be you so that's the reading for the 10th of july thank you so much for joining me please like subscribe share leave a comment love to read your comments and take care